It's another tech deck video. Yo, what's up guys? It's Christian from Kalia Decks, and um, we're going to be doing another tech deck video, but this time it's going to be tech deck trucks, 32mm wide, versus 32mm Black River trucks. So, RT shot, go. Just kidding, I forgot we have to unbox this. Unbox. We have to unbox this first, so let's do that. So it comes with primitive wheels, graphic wheels, tech deck graphic wheels, primitive grip tape, texture they put on a fingerboard, might as well try. The new tech deck tool, they're literally like T-tools. Primitive tech deck, 32 millimeters, let's test it. Here. So yeah, let's start off with the tech deck trucks. First of all, they're very affordable. Like I said, they're only $4, but with $4, should be less than four dollars i think less than four dollars so you can get a whole complete and that's pretty cheap and it's actually pretty functional if you guys saw my tech deck versus fingerboard video clink in the description or pop up right here whichever one so four dollars very very affordable second they have a unique design they're not that bad as you can see in the shot those are the trucks the exact same thing that you're gonna get in every 32 millimeter tech deck package third which is the bushings and the um nut they don't have the lock nuts which i'll get into a little bit later the bushings have washers in them so they're pretty much close to like how Black River trucks look. So the pivot cup technically is the one right here. The pivot cup basically controls the turn of the board. I mean, since it's fingerboarding, it really doesn't matter, but it's pretty comfortable if you have it on the deck. So that's the trucks on the tech deck. Now let's get onto the fingerboard. Fingerboard trucks cost at least $65 for 32 millimeter trucks, plus shipping, it's like almost $70. That's a lot of money for miniature trucks. My camera just died. Slightly more than a regular skateboard trucks. Let's compare that for like one second. 40 to 50 dollars, 70 dollars, 40 to 50 dollars, 70 dollars. Now I'm not saying that I'm complaining for the price of the Black River trucks, I'm saying that if you want to perform well in fingerboarding or want to get into fingerboarding as much as we did, you might want to get stuff that works perfectly for that hobby. For example, if you're doing yo-yo, you're not going to buy a Dunkin' yo-yo at a Walgreens and you think that you're going to be professional from just a Dunkin' yo-yo. Unless you could, then I'm totally wrong. If you want items that are super good for your hobby, obviously you're going to spend money on them. And we have, I have and a lot of people have. Let's get on to the design. The design of the Black River trucks are super nice. They remind me of Ace Trucks, which is one of my favorite truck company. Black River trucks have that gloss on them when they're brand new and you can still see it on my trucks right here. The design is just super nice on them and they've been around for a while. Second, the bushing system is basically almost the same as a Tech Deck, but they have a better bushing on them and much more sturdy washer. Similar to a skateboard trucks, this is where I'm going to compare one of the things that I really like from Black River Trucks that the Tech Deck doesn't have. Black River Trucks has six lock nuts from two of the kingpins to four of the axle. Your bushings will be intact, it won't loosen, so that's a very, very good thing when you're fingerboarding, your trucks are not just going to fall apart. With the wheels, it's really important to have lock nuts on your wheels because if you have $40 joy kilts on them and they come out, you're going to end up crying. I did. Okay, I didn't really cry, but I was really sad. That's one thing that I really like about Black River Trucks. Another thing is the pivot cup material. In Tech Decks, they don't have pivot cups. Black River Trucks, they have pivot cups to hold the trucks right here. So when you turn your fingerboard, it's super, super smooth. Super, super duper. I really can't show it here, but you just gotta have to try it yourself, with or without pivot cups. And with the Black River Trucks, they have one single axle. Like I said from the Tech Decks, they don't. So with Black River Trucks, they have one single axle connecting. One side will not just pop off like a Tech Deck and break. And majority of the Tech Deck users that use Tech Deck for years now, they know what I'm talking about. And you will too if you use a Tech Deck and kind of like get into more of like the hard side of fingerboarding and actually just like crushing your trucks. They would just come loose and come off. But with Black River Trucks, it's just one axle connecting and you don't have to worry about the axle popping off. So with that being said, Tech Deck Trucks, $4 as a complete, by the way, as a complete. Black River Trucks, $75 just for a pair. So you guys decide which one you guys want to do. If you guys don't have enough cash, I would suggest buy 32 millimeter trucks. And everyone is apparently like using these trucks right now and it's, it's fine. Like you can use these trucks to put on a wooden fingerboard. It works perfectly well. If you have a little bit of cash to blow, Black River Trucks is the way to go. They're super good. They're just super nice for fingerboarding. They're just perfect. That's Tech Deck versus fingerboard trucks you decide which one you want to try i suggest try both if you guys have extra cash try this if not try this and it should be pretty fun trying both trucks and i've used tech deck trucks for years since that was before black river trucks it works versus black river trucks it's just really up to you at the end so thank you for watching subscribe and um i hope you guys like this video i hope you guys like the new content much love to the subscribers subscribers just goes up every day and um yeah thank you peace or you can buy these for $40.